guys thanks for stopping in tonight I'm making a chicken enchilada dish with homemade jalapeno enchilada sauce and a homemade salsa it's real easy to do so let's get started first just cook up some chicken breast now I'm using the rotisserie chicken that I bought I guess I'm feeling kind of lazy tonight didn't feel like cooking it up but anyway just add some cheddar cheese to that and give that a mix Now, traditionally, enchiladas are made with corn tortillas. In the past, I've made it with flour. Corn tortillas tend to fall apart more than flour, but there's a way that you can keep that from happening, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Just pour some oil into a hot pan and heat that to about 350. Now, what we're going to do is take our tortillas, and we're going to stick it in this hot oil for no more than four or five seconds. Don't go any farther than that because otherwise you'll end up with a taco and we don't want that. Just set it in the oil for just a few seconds, remove it and set it on a plate until you're ready to assemble your enchiladas. Just take a baking plate, then cover the bottom of your plate with your, with your jalapeno sauce that I made. Be sure and check out that video. This stuff is fantastic. Then lay out your tortillas on a baking pan and start filling in your filling with your chicken and your cheese. And then just fold, tuck, and roll. Set those aside, repeat that process until you have all of the tortillas or enchiladas that you're making rolled up. Set it in the baking dish with all that jalapeno enchilada sauce. Cover it with more sauce. Make sure you cover your enchiladas fully otherwise they'll burn when you stick them in the oven and then just start adding on your sweet onion your cheddar cheese I like cheese I put a lot of cheese on there then stick it in a preheated 400 degree oven yeah about five ten minutes until all your cheese is melted and your sauce is bubbly when it comes out guys this is what you got so delicious now we're gonna add some more toppings I'm gonna add some green onion some cilantro, man, it smells so good, I'm ready to dig into this right now. And some more raw onion. And go ahead and top it with some more of that jalapeno sauce and my homemade salsa and serve it up. Guys, if you like this video, I appreciate you giving me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate you stopping in. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, y'all.